Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Calvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a remote desktop connection on your Windows 11 machine. So let's say you've upgraded your Windows 10 to Windows 11 or you did a fresh install of Windows 11 and you want to configure a remote desktop connection. So what you need to do is to go to your start menu. And here we have the settings. So let me maximize this. So in settings, click system. And in system, you can see we have the option remote desktop. So in remote desktop, you can see that the enable remote desktop is turned off. So by putting this on, it will tell you enable remote desktop. You and user selected under user's account will be able to connect to this PC remotely. So click confirm. And here you can see that it says, um, make my PC discoverable on private network to enable automatic connection from a remote device. Let me just, just click show settings and let's see what we have there. So you can see it says um, turn off a file for network discovery. Uh, let me just click this. You can see for domain it says it's turned off for public sharing and then but users should be able to connect to this device which are on a domain. If I click on private, you can see that it is turned on as well and also for file and printer sharing it is actually turned off so what we need to do here let me just go to the advanced settings and here you can see it says require computers to use network level authentication to connect which is recommended and it says for a standard connection we can actually just click to learn more and it says current remote desktop port is a 33H3 so let me just go back again and here it says, um, don't have a remote desktop client on your remote device. You can actually click this, which will take you to the internet to give you more option on how to actually do that. But let me just select users that can remotely access this PC. Um, it says, the user listed below can connect to this computer and any members of the administrator group can connect even if they are not listed. So you can see that um, Kelvin Johnson is a member of a um, because this device belongs to a domain group and this account is already a member as of an administrator so even if i did not add these users to this um, list he or will be able to access this device so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video that is how you enable remote desktop on your windows 11 machine thank you very much and i hope you will subscribe to my youtube channel and give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video. Bye.